Hey, it's Natalie, and this is four reasons we are not in a housing bubble. Number one, strict mortgage qualifying. Lending practices have changed. Gone are the days when you could just say you made a certain amount of money and the banker said, okay. Now we have higher credit scores, more money down, and more proof of income. Buyers are more qualified now than ever. Number two, low mortgage rates. These rates are historically low. This is contributing to a bit of FOMO in buyers that really want to take advantage of these low interest rates. And with low rates, buyers have a higher purchasing power, which means they can afford houses with a higher price tag. Number three, low inventory. There just aren't enough homes on the market for the amount of buyers that we have. The cost of building materials and supplies has skyrocketed, meaning builders are not building as many new homes. The older generations are favoring staying in their homes rather than selling and downsizing, which means their homes aren't coming on the market for new families. Pandemic mentality shift. This last year has seen an incredible shift in the way people live their lives. They are working from home, they're schooling from home, they want more land, they want to be out of the city, they want more pools, they want access to amenities that didn't close during the pandemic. There are numerous ways that people's lives have changed. A lot of people want a vacation home that is close or within driving distance rather than getting on an airplane and flying there. Everything about our housing needs have changed. But as this pandemic wanes and people start to travel again, demand for homes will broaden internationally again. So that's four reasons we are not in a housing bubble. If you have a question or want to leave a comment, do so below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.